Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Moths. I hold in my hand a really, really, really cool little moth. This is the Tantalus Sphinx moth. It is another tropical sphinx that we have in South Florida and the Florida Keys. And it is a really, really neat thing that flies just like a hummingbird. And it is a small moth but it's a really, really cool one. And we're gonna show you all that we know about the Tantalus Sphinx Moth. And um, guys, tropical beauty, really, really cool. Uh, guys, we would love it, love it, love it, love it, if you would check out our website, keysmoths.com, and it has all of the moths that we study in the Florida Keys listed there for you. 600 species, including Tantalus Sphinx, this little hummingbird day-flying moth beauty and and all of its close relatives and what we're going to show you um, here in a few minutes but we would love for you to check out our website but also you know get into community if you haven't joined a lepidopterist society group yet i'm going to encourage you to do it you meet some really neat people and i've got the group for you if you live in the southern united states it's called the southern lepidopterist society it's southernlepsoc.org. I've got the website in my description of this video and you can join through their website. You can go click on that link and join their website. Meet some cool people, learn a lot about the butterflies and moths of South, Southern United States. I strongly recommend it. I've been a member for like 20 years. So it's really, really cool. But guys, it would also help if you gave me a like, hit the like button. That really helps at our channel uh, when our audience likes the videos. And if you learn something, we're going to teach you details about these little critters. Hopefully, you're learning something. Um, at all these hours that we put out in the field, they're going to good use. Like the video, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Uh, without further ado, guys, let's get to the video on the Tantalus Sphinx. Alopius Tantalus, the Tantalus Sphinx moth. This bug, guys, is a tiny little moth that um, is actually a day flying moth. And, and a lot of people will see this little moth zipping around flowers and they will confuse it for a hummingbird because it flies just like a little hummingbird. And now this is, a t this is tinier than I believe than our smaller hummingbirds. So it would be a stretch, but uh, we're gonna go over its close relative, the Titan, uh, Elipius Titan, uh, which also can be found in the Florida Keys. But a little bit closer to a ruby-throated uh, hummingbird size, but not quite still. Olypius tantalus, the tantalus sphinx, it is a bug that lives in the tropics. We found them in the, in, the, in the Caribbean, in Central and South America. They live in Florida, but they actually have a range that goes up into the center, you know, center of the country, which is kind of interesting. You know, I, I have a feeling we don't fully understand this group. Um, and people will see them darting around at their flowers and their gardens, but very, very localized, very, very rare, even in the Florida Keys where their host plant is common. So we're going to show you a little bit about this bug. It is it has a dark brown color with actually, I'll call it black hind wings. Very, very cool. And it's got that very typical classic white band characteristic of the genus Olypius. And so what identifies this bug uh, from its close relative? Well, this, this one here is Titan. Now, unfortunately, my only Titan specimen has thoroughly greased over and the, the, the abdomen is not supposed to be that dark. And that stripe there is supposed to be white, but it's full of grease. So I have to degrease my specimen um, and actually remount it. But uh, Olympia's Titan is a little larger. Uh, actually quite a bit larger and it's got this uh, a, a lot thicker patterning on these white dots on the forewing and so that would be the main way to tell them apart these both of these specimens were collected in Key Largo and both of them were found on flowers in the month of December okay and so Tantalus is not known to breed in the Florida Keys but it might we're really not sure um, there's a whole lot of mystery surrounding that bug. Um, and there's, there's some other species as well, Olypius uh, clavippi, which is 
I've, I has been reported from the Keys, but I'm unaware of any confirmed records. So probably what people were seeing was this bug. This one is actually fairly widespread throughout all of the Florida Keys. And we are going to show you a little bit more about what we know about this species. So let me show you the underside real quick. Tiny bug. I love how it's got this little bumblebee kind of thing going on and it's got this white thorax. The underside of the head is white. It's got these little red beady eyes, which is kind of cool. Um, and if you've ever seen one of these things in flight, they are fast. They are very, very, very fast. And that's one thing, it's very difficult to actually approach them in nature because they're very skittish. And they fly very fast, just like a hummingbird. Uh, there are some other species that you can find in the same place in the same time, feeding on the same kinds of flowers. And over here on the right, we have our um, mournful sphinx, and your lugubris, very common in southern United States, not so common in the Keys. We've got the pretty rare half-blind sphinx, which has these yellow bands on the hind wing. We can also find those at flowers. And then the Cuban Sphinx or Euphara Harglossum Sagra. Uh, in fact, in December, when the Eupatorium or Christmas flower goes into bloom, you can actually find Sagra and Tantalus quite common at sunrise and dusk, nectaring on the blossoms of that flower. So very, very cool bugs that you can find and actually swing a net on but very, very difficult because they are super fast, both of them. All right, guys, let's go over to the website and see what the website, our website here, keysmoths.com, has to say about Olypius Alopos, I think I pronounced it wrong, Aelopos tantalus, the tantalus sphinx. Um, it's a fresh specimen there. Uh, here, Okay, so the host plant... Uh, Couple different host plants. We've got Crossopetalum uh, is a, is probably the best known documented uh, host plant, and Cassassia uh, cluciifolia at seven year apple. So we got seven year apple. We've got the Crossopetalum, and it, it, they are both you know things in the Randia. Uh, Randia is another one that they'll feed on. They readily feed on those different species of. Um, of plant. So here's here's the cross petalum right here. It's got little thorns on it. And I've found little caterpillars here that I love the young larvae have a big old horn on the uh on the back of the uh caterpillar. As the caterpillar grows, the horn gets smaller, and then the final instar actually has two different color forms, and the horn kind of curves down. Uh, they got that big white stripe there on the back back end of the caterpillar, but the caterpillar's got the brown form and the green form, and uh, there's our pupa. But here, this is actually uh, some photographs that I took of a female ovipositing on the new growth of its host plant. So, um, cool bug, guys, and it, it very difficult to approach in nature. Uh, sexes are similar. Um, females have a little bit wider of an abdomen, a little bit broader wings, wing shape, but very difficult to tell apart uh, in nature. So, uh, guys, that's pretty much, you know, like the best way to find these guys is probably early in the morning, late in the afternoon. You walk down trails that have some of the host plant in them, pretty much any of the tropical hardwood hammocks. And, you know, down in No Name Key, Big Pine Key are loaded with the host plants. So you can walk down those uh, trails and see them zipping around, but they're very difficult uh, to approach unless you have the nectar, which they're uh, eating on. So we found them on Key Largo, Bahia Honda, Big Pine, no name. And in most months of the year, um, February, March seems to be a good time for them. We found them in June and July, and then November, December on the flowers, on the on the uh, Christmas flower, the, the uh, blue, feathery eupatorium flower um, that blooms in between Christmas and New Year in disturbed areas. So guys, that's about all we have on the Tantalus Sphinx. Well, hope you liked the video. This cool little bug, it has been daunting, um, you know, 
Love this bug and we have found them fairly rare in South Florida, but we can, they can be common at times in the right place in the right time. And so don't forget to like the video and, um, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Got a lot more videos where this is coming from. We're just trying to labor through all like 27 different sphinx moth species that live in the Florida Keys. One by one, we're gonna show you all about them. And so guys, um, again, my name is David Fine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, join us next time as we go through some more moths of the Florida Keys. Take care now. Let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Bye.